Hello, and welcome to the next Let's Play of the Resident Evil series, which is Resident Evil 2, as you can see from my background on the PlayStation. Okay, I do have sound. I didn't think I had sound for a second. Um, I had never played this game before until... Um, just probably a couple months ago. I had played part of it. Again, the same person who I saw what, saw play Resident Evil 0, I saw play Resident Evil 2. So, I had seen the game from Leon A, but I hadn't seen everything. So then I went through this, and I played every scenario. <laughs> I really do like this game. Um, I think the first time I played it, though, I played it on easy. And the reason being was I could not get to the police, the police, the police station. So I'm going to start on normal. And if it takes me a couple tries to get to the police station, then I'm going to put it on easy. Um, let's see. It says Resident Evil 2. Join Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield in their classic survival horror journey through the zombie infested ruins of Raccoon City. The scenarios that I did decide on doing are Claire A and Leon B. This being because everything that I've heard is that it's considered the canon version of the story. Um, I'll try not to do spoilers, but again, this is a game that's been out for a long time, so it's going to be hard not to spoil. So I won't say what the difference is. It's a plot difference. So we'll just leave it at that and watch the movie. Many do consider this to be the best of the Resident Evil games. Um, kind of like Silent Hill 2. People think that's the best of the Silent Hill series. It originally came out in 1998, which, hey, is the year that the outbreak actually happened. Amazing. Follows the story of Claire Redfield and Leon S. Kennedy, as we saw in the description. Claire is looking for her brother, Chris Redfield, of course, <laughs> who was um, one of the stars members that was in the mansion in the first game. Let's see if it has anything different to show. Fighting foes is not the only way to survive this horror. It's like a little preview. Yeah, you get to push stuff in order to survive too. What the? That was a weird little video there. Anyway, so Claire is coming to town to look for her brother Chris, who has been missing ever since the incident. Well, I don't think ever since, but after the incident that happened in the mansion. Um, I don't want to start quite yet. And then Leon is an RPD officer who, well, this is his first day on the job. From what I've read... <laughs> in this book that I have about Resident Evil, it says that Leon was out late drinking the night before work because his girlfriend dumped him, so he was having a bad night, and because he had a bad night, he overslept, and that is why he is late to work on his first day when the zombie outbreak happens. <laughs> so let's go ahead and join Claire Redfield on her struggle through... Resident Evil 2 in Raccoon City. It's in Raccoon City for once! Oh my god! A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus 
a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. One thing I do find kind of funny with this series is that Claire's had the same voice the entire time as well as Ada. And Leon, for the most part, except for this game and in 4, it's different. But ever since 4, he's had the same voice. But then you have the two main characters of the series. Well, two of the main characters, Jill and Chris. And their voices have changed every single game. So <laughs> it's quite interesting. I'm finally here. on the chair. Hello? It's like Claire. You should probably leave. Uh, hello? I'm eating. <gasps> Don't interrupt me. Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Leon's voices actually. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. But I think I like the one in four better. There. Lock the lock. Okay. Lock the locks. Oh wait, did you say buckle up or lock the locks? <laughs> What's going on? I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Zombies don't know how to drive. This is so unrealistic. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. That's why you said buckle up. You okay? Still in one piece. <gasps> hey! That maniac's got a whip! Station. I'll meet you there. <laughs> 